like everything's so different now Sitting by the fire as we'd watch the flames burn out I miss the days I wasn't afraid Now I always have What's up guys, welcome back to another video and what I'm gonna do in this segment, I already made um, a video deleting the intake manifold flops, now we're gonna also upgrade the RS to the RS4 regulator, the fuel regulator and that valve is an upgrade for the 2.0T because it opened at like 130 bars and um, with that being open at 140 bar slightly over it, that area you could convert that to PSI that allowed the engine to get more fuel and the fuel pump fuel pump would also flow more fuel so it's just overall the engine is just going to get more fuel with this regulator valve and this is also upgraded sensor low pressure fuel pump I have the older revision so with that being said let's jump right into the video so I don't even know what sockets you need to do this job. I never done it before. I can't really, I can't really pick up the intake manifold because the flops are falling out. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. I gotta put some more parts on it. You're not driving this again for the day. This would be back to buy tomorrow. That means you're done with it for the day. I know you drive it yet. Yeah, yeah, but it's gonna be by by five o'clock. This is up and running. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so back to what I'm saying. So this sensor right here is the upgraded RS4 sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in. I already loosened it. You're gonna need a a, a one and one eighth wrench. Um, you could convert that. That's standard. I don't know what size is that. Probably like a 27, kind of. Got to be like a 27 or something. All right, so look at this valve right here, man. This one is filthy. If you look on the inside, it's real filthy. So maybe this is what's causing our issue, guys. I don't know. Yeah, this one is real filthy. So if you look at it, they're probably going to have different part number. Cause this one is a different revision. So go ahead and snap this one in there. Go ahead and snap that one in there. Goes in real easy and then use your wrench. And then you wanna go ahead and just snug it up. Don't go too crazy, don't break it. Just a nice snug like that. And I feel like that's good enough. Now over to the other portion. Um, the RS4 valve, this is maybe this one. Okay, this one, this one will do it, guys. So go ahead and just, go ahead and snap this one loose right here. This is the RS4 valve. Just like that. And you should be able to loosen up this line and just, hopefully we don't have no fuel coming out. Just always wear your safety glasses and be careful, guys. Careful with your pretty eyes and run with me. You're done. Cause you and I and I are a secret. Feel my drift. Again. You go ahead and loosen the other portion. I don't know what size that is, but. Ooh, that one is tight. This one is tight, guys. This one is really, really tight. It's in there. So, let's get a firm grip on it, just like that. <laughs> the entire freaking camera jump when I loosen it. But we got it, guys, and it's coming out. Let me move my hand so you guys can see. But. It is indeed coming out. You guys could see it. Okay. We just got it out. So let's do a quick comparison. This regulator inside of it looked clogged a little bit. I don't know. Inside of it is inside of it is clogged. Compared to this one, 
This one is also, this one also have a wider opening. And look at it, look at the comparison, guys. If you look, if you look inside of it, let it focus. This one got like a metal O-ring inside, and this one is a plastic. So this is a slightly upgrade in my, in, in, in my eye. So this one is, is good. Now that I move it back, I'm able to get it in real easy. So it's in, now you just gotta go ahead and screw it down. All right, same thing like you did. You want to snug it real tight. This one was, this one was really tight. So do the same thing. Go ahead and snug it back down. See, you want to get a firm grip on it. You want to snug that back up all the way, all the way. You want that tight. You don't want to put your intake manifold back on and then find out you got a freaking fuel leak. One more snug. And that's it right there, guys. I feel like that's tight enough. That. Same thing for this line, you want to snug it down just like how you found it. So let me show you guys now. We put the upgraded sensor in, um, the fuel regulator, and if you guys enjoy these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm going to go ahead and replace the oil filter housing. I already did a video on that, so there's no need to record the same videos over and over. So I'll catch you guys in a few. Peace.